Hello friends, today we are guiding you to prepare interview questions on ADA, Analysis Design and Algorithms. In comments you can share the topic of your interest, our team will prepare the video for you. Before continue to our session, we request you to join our channel for all the latest updates. Our team of technical and subject matter experts are working hard to create valuable content just for you. So please make sure to hit the subscribe button, like and comment on our videos, and click the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos. What is the difference between in, out, and in out parameters in ADA? In ADA, parameters can be passed to subprograms, procedures and functions, using different modes, in, out, and in out. These modes specify how the parameter is used within the subprogram and how its value is affected. In parameters, an in parameter is used to pass data into a subprogram. The parameter is read only within the subprogram, meaning its value cannot be modified. The subprogram can only access the value of the parameter but cannot change it. The original value remains unchanged after the subprogram execution. Out parameters An out parameter is used to return a value from a subprogram. The parameter does not carry an initial value when passed but must be assigned within the subprogram. After the subprogram, in out parameters, an in out parameter allows both reading and modifying the parameter. The value is passed in, and any changes made within the subprogram are reflected in the caller after execution. Summary In passes data to the subprogram, read only. Out returns data from the subprogram, write only. In out passes and modifies data, read write. How do you declare and initialize a record in ADA, and what is its significance? In ADA, a record is a composite data type that allows grouping multiple elements, fields, of different types into a single unit. Records are similar to structures in C or classes in other object oriented languages. Records are useful for modeling real world entities where different attributes need to be grouped together. Declaration of a record To declare a record in ADA, you define its type and specify the fields, also called components, it contains. Each field can have a different type. Example of a record declaration Type person is record. Name String 1, 50, age, integer, height, float, end record. Here, the person record has three components name, a string, age, an integer, and height, a float. Records can be initialized using the equals operator or via a constructor, if defined. You can assign values to the components either individually or when creating the record. Example of record initialization My underscore person, person, equals, name equals greater than John Doe, age equals greater than 30, height equals greater than 5.9. Alternatively, you can initialize a record by directly assigning values to its components such as, my underscore person dot name, equals John Doe, my underscore person dot age, equals 30, my underscore person dot height, equals 5.9. Significance Records are significant because they allow for efficient organization and manipulation of related data. They enhance code clarity, facilitate maintenance and support strong typing and type safety, which are key advantages in ADA. How does ADA ensure high reliability and safety for critical systems? ADA ensures high reliability and safety for critical systems through several key features designed to minimize errors, enhance predictability, and guarantee the integrity of the system. These features make ADA particularly suitable for safety critical applications, such as aerospace, defense, and medical systems. Strong typing and type safety ADA's strong type system ensures that types are strictly enforced, preventing unintended operations between incompatible types. This eliminates common bugs like type mismatches, which are prevalent in languages with weak typing. For example, a function expecting an integer cannot be accidentally passed a string, reducing errors at compile time rather than runtime. Compile time checks ADA performs rigorous compile time checks for errors like uninitialized variables, boundary overflows, and type mismatches. This helps catch issues early in the development process, preventing defects from reaching runtime, which is crucial in safety-critical environments. Exception handling 
ADA has a robust exception handling model, which allows graceful recovery from errors. It provides developers with tools to anticipate and manage errors, ensuring the system behaves predictably even in failure scenarios. Concurrency support, ADA's tasking model provides support for concurrent programming with built-in mechanisms for synchronization and communication, reducing the risk of race conditions and ensuring predictable execution in real-time systems. Formal verification, ADA's strong typing and support for formal verification make it easier to mathematically prove that a system behaves as expected, adding an extra layer of safety. Together, these features help ADA meet the stringent reliability and safety requirements demanded by critical systems. Can ADA be used in embedded systems? If so, how does ADA ensure efficiency in low-resource environments? Yes. ADA is widely used in embedded systems due to its strong emphasis on reliability, safety, and efficiency, which are essential for systems with limited resources like memory, processing power, and real-time constraints. Efficiency in low-resource environments can be ensured as follows. Controlled memory usage, ADA allows fine-grained control over memory allocation, which is crucial in embedded systems with limited memory. Developers can use static memory allocation and manage storage pools to optimize memory usage. ADA's strong type system prevents unintentional memory overflows and ensures that memory is used efficiently. Deterministic performance, ADA's tasking model supports real-time, deterministic concurrency, ensuring predictable execution times. This is crucial for embedded systems, where tasks need to execute within strict timing constraints. ADA's tasking avoids non-deterministic behavior common in other languages. Optimized code generation, ADA compilers are designed to generate efficient machine code, optimizing performance for embedded platforms. The language offers features such as pragma directives that allow developers to provide hints to the compiler for optimization, ensuring that the generated code meets the system's performance requirements. Low overhead, ADA has low runtime overhead making it suitable for embedded systems where minimizing resource consumption is critical. Additionally, ADA's lack of garbage collection minimizes the runtime burden on embedded hardware. In conclusion, ADA's features like memory control, real-time capabilities, and efficient code generation make it highly suitable for embedded systems with resource constraints. How would you handle debugging and performance optimization in ADA applications? Debugging and performance optimization in ADA applications are essential steps for ensuring reliable, efficient, and error-free systems, particularly in critical and embedded environments. ADA provides several features and tools to support both tasks effectively. Debugging in ADA can be performed as follows. Compile time checks. ADA's strong type system and compile time checks catch many errors early in the development process reducing the chances of runtime issues. These checks help avoid common bugs like type mismatches, boundary overflows, and uninitialized variables. Exception Handling ADA's robust exception handling mechanism enables the detection of runtime errors. By defining custom exceptions and using exception handlers, developers can catch and handle unexpected conditions gracefully, improving system reliability. ADA Debuggers Tools like NAT, GNU ADA, and other ADA-specific debuggers provide powerful debugging features, such as step-by-step -step execution, breakpoints, and variable inspection, allowing developers to track down issues in the code efficiently. Performance optimization in ADA can be performed as follows. Efficient memory usage, ADA allows fine-grained control over memory management with storage pools and static memory allocation which is critical for performance in resource-constrained environments. Optimizing code with Pragma Directives ADA supports Pragma Directives, for example, Pragma Optimize, to provide hints to the compiler, enabling performance optimizations like inlining, loop unrolling, and function call optimizations. Concurrency and Real-Time Tasking ADA's tasking model allows efficient handling of parallelism and concurrency with control timing and synchronization, ensuring that real-time tasks meet their deadlines while minimizing resource consumption. By leveraging these ADA features and tools, 
developers can effectively debug and optimize their applications for high reliability and performance. Thanks for watching the video till the end. If you liked the video and haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button, like and comment on our videos, and click the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos. In comments you can share the topic of your interest, our team will prepare the video for you.